I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will consider different forms of linear equations. One of them is called standard form. One is slope intercept form. And one is point slope form. So this is slope y intercept, right? Now we also have another form of equation which we'll consider in the next video. Uh, we call it intercept form. So we'll discuss that in, in the next video. It's written in the form of x over a plus y over b equals to 1 where a and b are x and y intercepts. So we'll not get into the details of this form in this particular video. Now a standard form of a line is given as ax plus by plus c, right? That is how we give standard form of a line and uh, normally we'll say this is equal to 0 and the slope intercept form we'll write as y equals to mx plus b where m is the slope and b is the y intercept so we write sometimes y intercept. Point slope form is rearranging this particular form uh, and I'll show you that soon so we'll get to that uh, soon. So now let us also see how to use these equations or interchange between one form to the other. So if I have ax plus by plus c and if I have to write what slope intercept form is we can actually isolate y. Let us see how to isolate y. So we have by equals to minus ax minus c y will be equals to minus a over bx minus c over b. So in this case what you see here is that the slope really if given in this form is equals to minus a over b and the y intercept is b which is equals to minus c over b. So that is how you know you could read slope and y intercept from standard form of equation also right but straight away uh, you can actually from the standard form uh, you can read few things and that is x and y intercepts are easy to calculate. So, so let me write down how to calculate x and y intercepts. So we'll say x intercept and y intercept. So we'll do these two calculations also. Whenever the equation is given in standard form, it is kind of uh, easy to calculate x and y intercepts. To calculate x intercept, we have to equate y to 0. To calculate y intercept, we equate x to 0. Perfect. So if I write y equals to 0 here, I get ax plus c equals to 0. Or I can rearrange and say ax equals to minus c, x is equals to minus c over a. So that becomes x intercept. To find the y intercept, we substitute x equals to 0. x equals to 0 means we'll get by plus c equals to 0. So by equals to minus c or y equals to minus c over b, which is same as we found earlier. So that is how you could actually calculate x and y intercepts using standard form of equation. Now let's uh, see the slope intercept form. One thing which you should know is what is slope? Slope m could be written as y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1, where we are talking with reference to two points p1 is x1 y1 and p2 is x2 y2 so these two are the points on our line and to find the slope we do y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 let me rearrange this equation if i cross multiply what do i get i get m times x2 minus x1, I mean x1, equals to y2 minus y1. I could also write this as y2 minus y1 equals to m times x2 minus x1. So from here we could write this form of equation. And this form of equation is called point slope form. So let me write here. So instead of y2 minus y1, we just take one point. So it is point slope. So point is x, y for us, right? So we say one point is x1, y1. So we say, so y minus y1 
equals to m times x minus x1. Do you get the idea, right? So, I forgot to write x1 here. Okay, that's it. So, that is point slope form. Now, the beauty of point slope form is that if I give you, let us say, slope is 3 over 2 and the point is minus 5 and 7 and let's say that's the point. How to write the equation of this line? Using point slope form, we know the slope so we could straight away write this is x and this is y value we'll say y minus 7 is equals to 3 over 2 times x minus x1 that is x minus minus of 5 becomes plus now you can cross multiply so you get 2 times y minus 7 equals to 3 times x plus 5 and you can expand 2y minus 14 3x plus 15 Rearrange and write in standard form, right? So we get 3x minus 2y uh, and then taking uh, minus 14 to this side, we get plus 29 equals to 0. So we get standard form our, of our equation. Anyway, the important point here is that point slope form can be used when you are given slope and one point, right? And slope intercept form normally will be used when you are given two points so that you can find the slope and then the equation correct so likewise they have very different uses but any form can be used at any instance of time now let us also see how to sketch a line to sketch a line we normally use slope y intercept we can also use standard form if we are sketching from standard form find x and y intercepts right once you get x and y intercepts then then you plot those points and sketch it so we'll take some uh, one example let us say we want to sketch a line in this form let me write down the equation as 2x minus 3y uh, minus 6 equals to 0 so if I have to sketch this particular line the question is to sketch the line then I'll find x intercept and y intercept. To find the x intercept, y will be made 0. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So x intercept is 3. So let's say this is 3 for us. To find y intercept, we'll make x 0. 6 divided by minus 3 is minus 2. So we'll get minus 2 here, right? So minus 2. Joining these two points will give us the line. So that is how you could sketch this particular line. Let's say line 1. Now, from slope intercept form, uh, let us take a line which is, let us say, y equals to 3, let, let us say, let's take with minus sign, 3 minus 3 over 2x uh, plus, let us say, plus 2. Okay. So, in that case, first point is you go to y intercept of 2 and then from here, slope is minus 3 over 2. Go 3 units down, 1, 2 and 3 and 2 units to the right 1 2 get the next point once you get this point you can just join them and there you go so that is how you could sketch lines using these two lines I mean standard equations of these lines I hope with this it gives you a good review of what you learned about lines standard form slope intercept form point slope form and there wasn't any room for intercept form so I have it in the next video so you can click and go to the next video learn about intercept form and then we will see how to work more with parallel perpendicular horizontal and vertical lines I hope that helps to review this particular topic thank you and all the best